Evansville, Indiana, Walgreens, said it was just a mistake that the company takes all the necessary safety precautions to make sure that things like this don't happen. Well, then why do they keep happening? I'm just raising the question. We're going to get into all the details and more, guys, in just a second. First, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Also, if you could, consider making a generous donation here to our ministry as we're demonetized on YouTube. They don't support us, but you can help us out in a major way. If you enjoy the daily video content we put out talking about end-time Bible prophecy headlines and our ministry of getting people to Jesus Christ, you can help out through PayPal or Patreon or even just 5 bucks a month on Patreon gets you bonus content. Plus, we include the links to the YouTube videos so you get all alerts when new content arrives. You can comment, censorship-free, send me direct messages. It's a great way to stay up to date with all the content that is put out. Another big reminder, sub to me on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off of YouTube. We're already posting there, so go check it out. All the links are down below. A big thank you to everybody already contributing. And for those of you thinking of doing so, thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So Evansville, Indiana. You had a family of four here. They all went down to get what they thought was going to be their flu shots. Now, the parents, Alexandra and John Price, they went down to the Walgreens with their two young children, ages four and five, a boy and a girl. And the whole family thought, we're just going to get our flu shots. They go in, they get what they think is the flu shots, they leave. They think everything's good. Now, why they didn't actually stop and first to take a look at the card that they received, that I don't know. They get home, and then all of a sudden they receive a phone call. It's a pharmacy technician from Walgreens letting them know that, oh, I, I, I hate to tell you this, uh, Price family, but we accidentally gave you not the flu shot, but the the road a jab that's right even your children four and five years old they were all given the full dose of the pfizer jab that's right now the pfizer jab is not approved for children that young we know that and so when the mom heard this news she said what does this mean for my kids what do you mean you just gave us the wrong jab a simple mistake before I talk more about the fallout of this and I'm gonna give you an update on the children here this is not the first time that I have come on here and that I have reported on Walgreens doing this no 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 you see there was a teenager who lives in Arizona who happened to be in California with her boyfriend and his mom she too Thought she was just going to get the flu shot. She ended up getting a Rona jab as well. Never wanted the Rona jab, but got it anyway. What did Walgreens say? It was just a mistake. Then we had a young girl in Maryland. Also a Walgreens. About six years old. Mom thought she was going to get her the flu shot. Guess what? She also got the Rona jab. What did Walgreens say there? It was just a mistake. We work hard to make sure that these things don't happen. And now we have the Walgreens in Evansville, Indiana, saying the same exact thing. This time with two young children. This makes four total people that have just mistakenly gotten the jab. Just a mistake, they say. Just a mistake. Now, if you look at it, and I, I guess if, I guess really it's six because I, I I wasn't including the parents here in this, but four kids really. The teenager was seventeen, but even still, you had a six-year-old, then you had a four-year-old and a five-year-old. This is not just a mistake, ladies and gentlemen. This, and I I've talked about it before. I believe is a calculated effort by Walgreens to oh I don't know every so you know. Every, every so many jabs. I ah, just slipped the Rona one in there. Why not? They don't care about how this affects the kids. This is their way of ensuring they get more people this jab. And they're doing it by way of tricking them with the flu shot. Now, I don't think people should be going out and getting that one. That's just my opinion, though. 
because, <laughs> well, for one, I've never gotten one of those in my life. Never planned to. But even now, especially that this mistake just keeps spreading around all the Walgreens. Not to say it's not happening maybe at CVS or other places, but they're just not being reported on. They're not making the news. These Walgreens ones are, for whatever reason. So, the mother wants and, and, and takes her kids to a pediatric cardiologist. Turns out that both her children are suffering with heart issues. Are you surprised? Are you surprised by this? One of them, extremely high blood pressure. Another one is a... is. Tested for another rare condition. One you don't typically find in young children. And Walgreens said this was just a mistake. That they have the proper safety protocols in place. No, no, you don't. You do not have the proper safety protocols in place. Because if you did, this wouldn't happen. You know what you're doing. You know exactly what you are doing. The people that don't play ball, you're forcing them to. And you're using the flu shot as a way to do that. Because you just had the Centers for Demonic Control Director, Rochelle Walensky, come out last week and say that this coming flu season will be the harshest one we've had in years. Because all those people last year that were locked up into their homes are out again and we've lost the immunity from the flu <laughs> so what has that led to more people going out to get the flu shot or so they think right these people will all stand before god at the end of time and give an account of their life and what they have done especially to these little ones like the bible says we can only pray that these kids are going to be okay I know that the family has a lawyer and, and I'm going to check the link down below. You can see the cards that were given to the entire family after they left the Evansville Walgreens there in Indiana. As of right now, they haven't put a formal lawsuit out, but it looks like there's one coming and rightfully so. Every single one of them at that Walgreens should be terminated from their job for what they did. Close the entire pharmacy down as far as I'm concerned. These people are liars. There is a spirit of lying that is going throughout this country right now. It's just natural to them. They don't think twice about it. Pray for these kids, the Price family, and the mother and father. To our knowledge, at least nothing's been revealed as far as any problems that the mother and father have been having, but with the kids, they are. This is sad. This is sick. This is demonic. This is why we do these videos. We talk about the prophetic news headlines going on around the world because we are in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming back soon. The question is, do you know him as your Lord and Savior? If you don't, we want to encourage you to make that decision today to give your life to Christ. I'll lead you in a prayer right now. You can do that prayer in your own words, but I'll give you the steps you need to bring that prayer before the Lord. Here's the first thing you want to do, and that's acknowledge that you're a sinner. It's something that we all are, but God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. That means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more for you guys on this down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.